What's going on gamers? We're going to go over the Vivecraft mod and what you need to do to play it on a server. Before we get into this tutorial, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can stay up to date on every video we upload just like this one. When you're playing vanilla Minecraft, it can be super entertaining for tons, I mean, the world. But uh, you can forget the sheer size of the game sometimes. We have become so accustomed to the building and combat mechanics that we begin to take it for granted. This is no longer the case with Vivecraft, a Minecraft mod that allows VR players to experience the game in a new light. Mobs become a terrifying force. Blocks tower above you and every movement is dictated by your own actions. In addition to this, other players can use a non-VR client to see the hand movement from VR. All of this completely changes the game, tossing you into the action. Getting started with Vivecraft can be confusing for unfamiliar players, so we made this guide to show you how to get started. And it really can change the experience of your builds when you're in VR looking around for the first time in a world that you've spent a ton of time in. To start off downloading Vivecraft, you're going to head over to the official download page, which of course is going to be linked in the description of this video. And you can check out the written guide, which has any other links you'll need and written instructions with pictures. From here, you're going to find the version that you want to install. Select the Vivecraft 1.x.x. So for example, you can use the 1.19 or the 1.18.2 but you have to make sure that you're getting the correct link for the server that you'd like to join or something, or the correct version of Minecraft that you'd like to play on. And once you click on it, on the download link, it's gonna open GitHub and you're gonna scroll down to assets. Once you find the assets selection, find the file that has VR in the name. Then save the file to a safe location as it's gonna be needed shortly. For non-VR clients, the download is the same process as for VR clients. From the GitHub, you're just going to go ahead and download the non-VR installer. Now, while Vivecraft has the ability to move your arms around and stuff, normal players are unable to see this movement in regular vanilla. Installing the non-VR version of Vivecraft rectifies this issue as it is a slightly modified vanilla installation to properly view VR players. Whether you're in VR or non-VR, once your file has been downloaded, simply open it to view the installer menu. Within the installer, you're going to find a variety of options and settings to choose from. By default, most settings can be used without any issues. Some options include Forge, changing the RAM amount, and customizing the installation name. Once you're ready to proceed and you've selected the settings that you like, click on the install button at the bottom to begin the process. Once your installation is finished, you can open up your Minecraft launcher to locate and select your Vivecraft installation. This installs Forge for you as well as Optifine, I believe. And once you press play, it just plays like regular Minecraft in VR or what you will, would imagine that to be. And now we're going to go over some features of this mod. It, it has everything that you would want in a VR mod for Minecraft. You can Walk around your room as you play, viewing the real size of Minecraft blocks or your builds. And if you have a big space, uh, you can really admire your builds. And then you can break blocks and fight by swinging your hands around. And you can aim and fire your bow by using both hands in game. You could climb, run, jump and eat and more by performing those motions in real life with, I mean, with the controllers and context sensitive interactions for doors, pistons, and animals, and more. Then there's various VR play styles, such as teleportation, movement, or seated play with a keyboard. Following this, you now know how to install Vivecraft and some of the features that this modification includes. Minecraft does have an official VR version, but it's, it's, it's bad. It, it's, it's so bad that I would, I would tell you to just forget it exists. I would tell you that there are some really awesome tutorials on how to install Vivecraft. It's an amazing mod that you should experience. You can even scale your character to view the world as an ant or a giant if that's something that you'd want to do. Even the most mundane tasks from vanilla like 
eating become way more exciting as you can actually bring the food up to your mouth and eat it. With so much to do and explore, your only limit is your imagination. So download Vivecraft and hop into your world and start playing. Well, folks, that's all we've got for you today. And as always, we hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.